You're gonna love these super simple and beautiful crudo boards two ways. Really flavorful, really delicious, and also very, very easy. First things first, we're gonna start with our vegetables. So I have a small sweet pepper. You just need one for this, um, very little ingredients. Uh, a red onion, and then we also have a bunch of parsley. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice this into some rings as well as the red onions, and then we'll go ahead and give our uh, parsley a nice chop. Most important thing when you are slicing up your vegetables is just making them nice and thin. You're essentially making like sashimi bites with these crudo boards. This is a nice one because it's so fast to put together. So I'll often do this if we do get something like um, a nice yellow jack and I know that I wanna eat it raw. I always do raw dishes first, so I'll do a raw dish the first day, and then maybe the next day I'll use that fish for a fish pie or um, battered fish sticks or something like that, but I always like to do my raw dishes first. So nice skinny slices with our red onion as well. I'm also gonna go ahead and add in a serrano pepper. The great thing about these raw boards as well is that you don't need a lot of fish for it. You can see that, I mean, I won't use this entire filet um, of the snapper for this. I'll probably do about half, but that will get you a full board easy. Okay, parsley. Really fine chop. So we're gonna go ahead and slice our filet. So you want pretty thin slices. Imagine again, like it is a sashimi slice. Um, so you do want it to be like a one bite. So I'm gonna go ahead, slice this into thin slices. I'm just putting it, starting in the center, working my way out, making a nice display of it. Both this yellow jack and the snapper were speared, sustainably caught. The nice thing with these crudo boards is that you can just use what you have on hand. So it doesn't have to be what we have here. The avocado is really nice to put in. Anything fresh like cucumbers, peppers, onions, garlic, those kinds of flavors go really nicely. And then of course, just a drizzle of um, olive oil and lemon juice and you're good to go. Okay, that's looking really nice. Now that we've got our snapper all set up on our plate, we're gonna go ahead and garnish. So you've got your veggies that you chopped up earlier and you're gonna go ahead and place those on each piece of fish. So this takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it in the end because again, you want yourself or your guests to come in, grab one piece of the fish and then that's their, their bite. If you wanted to make this into a plant-based option, you could take thin slices of yucca and put those on the board and then top with the same kind of toppings. And cucumber slices would work as well. This is another one that just looks really impressive, but it's minimal effort. Already looking really great. Any fresh herbs will work. I have parsley. So we're in a good place. Now what we're gonna do is flood the board. I have four juiced lemons in here. And I'm just gonna take that and that's why a lipped plate works so well for this. So you do want something with a bit of an edge because you're gonna take this lemon juice and you're just gonna pour it in the corner. Work your way around the plate. Kind of going in between the pieces here and then I'm just gonna give it a nice little tilt. We'll take a little bit of zest from our lemon. Lastly, but the most important step after you have um, zested your lemon, is you're gonna take a little bit of coconut milk, give it a tiny bit of island flair, drizzle that over the top, and that's it. It's so simple. So simple, but so beautiful, fresh. So we'll set this back here. I would serve immediately. If you're not going to serve immediately, put it over ice. We're gonna move on to our yellow jack plate. So we have an Agua Chile yellow jack crudo board. Um, it's kind of like a deconstructed version of what you might see for an Agua Chile. So we're first gonna start with our marinade. We're gonna get a blender, blender cup. Uh, I'm gonna take a handful of cilantro. You can chop off just the end of the stems, but leave most of it. Just anything that feels a little rough, get rid of that. The rest I'm not gonna worry about. Just go ahead and toss that in. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of garlic and a bit of agave as well that's in here. A splash of white vinegar, and then the juice of two to three limes. I'm gonna give that a good blend, and that's gonna be our marinade for the yellow jack. So we've got our marinade, set that aside. We're now going to slice up our yellow jack. So nice thin slices. As you do that, give it a good dip in your marinade and then onto the plate. Yellow Jack is such a good one for raw plates. Um, it just has a really nice texture. And then the acid in the lemon juice is going to cook these just a bit. All right, so we're gonna move on to our veggies. So I've got a jalapeno, I have a Persian cucumber, a red chili, 
and then also half an avocado. Again, thinly diced. We've got small Persian cucumber, red chili pepper. We've got our avocado. That is the perfect avocado. All right, we're ready to assemble. So we've got our plate, we have our yellow jack. Let's go ahead and start with the avocado. I think that's gonna be the best one to start with. We'll then move on to our cucumber. And our red chilies for a bit of color. We'll leave a few bare just in case someone isn't hogging the water. So it's the same idea with this board as it was the last. We're going to take this marinade and we're gonna flood the board with it. And then we'll just take all of our nice herbs that we have in there, all of that cilantro and that garlic, and you can just pile that right in the center. Let's put a little bit of lemon zest on there as well, right in the center. And that is your Agua Chile inspired Yellow Jack Griddle Board. So you have your finished product. They look absolutely beautiful. Um, such an easy, impressive dish to do again two completely different flavor profiles. You've got the freshness of the avocado, the cilantro, and the tang and the lime in this um, aguachile board with the yellow jack. And then you have a little bit of a milder flavor with the uh, snapper over here and a little bit more traditional flavors as well with the parsley and the sweet peppers and onion, something that you typically see on a crudo board. But really nice, really delicious. I can't wait for you guys to try this one out because you'll be surprised at how good this is and what little time it takes you to make. So enjoy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>